In this video, I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to build an online course using Kajabi. This is an incredibly powerful tool that enables you to sell digital products online on your very own website. But before we get started, make sure you grab yourself the extended 30-day free trial linked in the video description down below. This is 16 extra days that you get completely for free, literally for just clicking that link. That's going to give you loads of time to follow this tutorial and get your entire website set up for launching it. Once you've created your Kajabi account, it'll look a little bit something like this. This is your main home dashboard. Now we actually want to head over to our products area where we're going to go ahead and create a brand new product. The way you do this is over in the top right hand corner, you literally click new product. And then from here, you'll be able to select from four different product types. This includes building a full online course, hosting your podcast on your very own website, a closed off community area, and of course, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Or you could use this for group coaching, live streaming, a variety of different things, depending on how you run your business. In this example, we're gonna go ahead and create an online course. So I'll go ahead and select that and then press get started. The next stage is inputting the details for your online course. So obviously it's name, the course description. Now for this example in particular, we're going to go ahead and create a getting started guide for YouTube. And what's going to happen next will completely blow your mind. So if we go ahead and do a getting started, and what you'll see is this automatically translates in real time with this preview of our course players. You see the title of the course and then it's subtitle listed down below. So that's the first stage selected right here. Now the box below, use this info to generate content and additional resources. You can either select this or unselect it. But if you leave it selected, it will go ahead and use AI to then create a course outline, saving you a whole load of time. But there's a couple things we still need to do before we see the results of this AI. And that's going ahead and adding a thumbnail. So I've just grabbed a quick screenshot from a, a, a class that I've got on Skillshare, uh, teaching you about YouTube Shorts. Uh, so not the actual thumbnail that would go on here. Uh, and you go ahead and you just add that and then click continue just so I can show you the example. Now, so far, this entire process has been incredibly easy. And the final stage is setting a price for your online course. So here you have the ability to set up the payment terms for the class. So whether it's a one-time payment or whether people pay within monthly installments, if it's a really big course, for example, you know, like four grand or something that might be quite a lot for people to outpay on. So you can see here, we've got these uh, all these different options. So you've got the one-time payment, you've got the multi-payment, or you can obviously set up a monthly subscription. This is ideal for them sort of community style courses. It's got a little bit of ongoing support or, or however you want to set it up. You maybe got a, a bunch of different classes that they're accessing from this subscription and purchase. We're just going to roll with a one-time payment because that's how I just currently have all of my courses set up. I'm a huge fan of the monthly subscription model. I think the compound growth that they have uh, is pretty cool. But right now, we don't really have anything to offer in that regard. Then we'll just go ahead and type in your price. So we're going to sell this course for $100. And $97. And then there's a new feature that is quite interesting on Kajabi. It's called let the customer pay what they want. Now, I personally, I, I don't use it, you know, because some people be like, $1 and, and take the, 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 the piss. But um, apparently, according to some researches from Kajabi, there was a little article they released on this inside of the Kajabi Academy, which is a great feature that Kajabi has. Of course, it hosts your online courses and your websites, but part of your subscription also goes towards all of this educational content, like about taxes, accounting, how to sell your courses, how to price your courses. And one of the uh, articles that was within Kajabi Academy was talking about how some people tested out this feature where they would have people pay what they wanted and it actually increased the average value of each customer because they paid what they thought the course was worth, which was actually higher than what the educator was selling it for. Interesting study. I don't know, but um, I'm not going to check that box. So you've got that box there. We're going to leave it down below. Now, this next stage is super important. And especially if you've used my link in the video description to get yourself that extended 30 day free trial and you've got a brand new Kajabi account, you will need to make sure that you've connected your payment providers to your account. So this includes your PayPal business account and Stripe. And then if you're in America, you can also connect uh, Apple Pay and Google Pay now through Kajabi's new payment system. Unfortunately, I'm in the UK, so I don't have access to that feature just yet on Kajabi. So I only have Stripe and PayPal. So once you have those successfully connected and because you've got all these extra days, those 16 extra days for free because you use that link, you've got plenty of time to get it set up and your new PayPal account all verified, it will then allow you to choose it from this drop down menu. So you would go ahead and click select your uh, payment thing and right here we've got stripe as an option so we would go ahead and we would use stripe for our checkouts or obviously if you wanted to use paypal as well that would be an option there but on this current website i'm not using paypal then you just click save and finish so this is where the ai is now going to do its magic so you can see on the screen right now the ai the creation wizard as it's called is creating an outline for what this course could potentially look like so if we then address what it has created down below You'll see here that it's created a nice little mini course. It's getting started 
on YouTube, like YouTube basics, creating engaging content, growing your audience, best practices, monetizing your channel, and also analyzing and optimizing. So it's literally created a one module outline that has then gave you a nice starting point for your class. Now, if this was a little mini course that you were making, that's literally all the amount of content you would need, then you can go ahead and make those videos and it's done there. But what I've had it do, do in the past, for example, with my YouTube Roadmap to Success course, it literally mapped out like four or five modules of what that class could look like. It, it was crazy. And then I went ahead and, and stripped some of those back. Same as well, uh, a guitar course example that I've given on this channel before. It mapped out all the different modules for how a beginner could learn the guitar. It, it's quite a powerful tool, but it doesn't just stop there with how it out outlines what the course could look like. It's, this is especially useful if you've never made a course before and how to structure the information. It does also uh, do some really cool breakdowns of what the classes are. So when you go into the YouTube Basics class, for example, it has a complete description of what the content is going to actually be within that class. So it gives you a huge amount of knowledge and raft of knowledge to go, oh, I could actually talk about that. I never thought about that. And you can see here the main takeaways of this class is basically how you can customize your channel, optimize your videos, and, and actually create an account on YouTube. And there's a great little paragraph all written by AI saying what this video could be about. You know, creating engaging content. The main takeaways here are identifying a target audience, researching popular topics, and creating original content. Some great takeaways, you know, pretty standard stuff. And then a huge thing talking about like, you know, the funnel making money, or is this a, a hobby, is it a business? All written by AI, so that saved you a whole bunch of time uh, with a lot of the sort of copywriting that you need to do in terms of flushing out a course. So it looks like you've actually put some effort into it. But obviously, you're probably going to be creating your own original courses, so you don't need this Kajabi layout for you. So I'm going to show you a few things that you need to do if you've got your own content. So as you can see here right now, this is just a draft module. just says here, draft. If you click on here, you have the ability to publish it. So as soon as you click publish, it will be live. So if anybody purchased this course or was a student on this course, they could view this module. Then you've got the other option to then do drip content. So for example, if somebody subscribed to the course and then they watched it for X amount of days, it would then unlock the second module. Then finally, you've got the locked, which is just another style of one that, that, that is uh, one where you would go, right, this area is locked off until X date, and then we're gonna unlock it on this date. So this is great if you've got one of those sort of group courses and you may be working with them, one-on-one -on -one coaching, your elements of the course locked so they can view it and see what's there but not actually watch the content within, then you can just go, boom, it's unlocked now, babies. You can go watch your stuff. So that's pretty nice. Now, what you then also have the control over is even though this module's published, all of the content within here isn't. So we would then go in here and we could actually choose which classes are still drafted, which ones are published, and so on. So then that way you have a little bit of control, especially if you maybe got to update a course in the future. You know, maybe a new update comes out about YouTube and you know, some new features that, that didn't exist prior, a little bit like when YouTube Shorts came out. You know, you then we'll go, okay, we're gonna add some modules on YouTube Short. You can start preparing all of that content in draft mode. Nobody sees it, you're existing students. And then when it's all ready to go, bang, it's launch day, new update, 2.0. Go check it out, guys and girls. You've got everything that you need. Also important to know is the delete lesson option. So we're going to go ahead and just going to show you that. So you go ahead here, and this would allow you to delete any of this automated AI stuff. If it just irritates you and you don't want it, you just go ahead and you would delete it. And then you could delete the module after you've removed each of these individual videos. You then can add further content by just clicking Add Content in the top, um, top corner. And you can click module, sub-module, lesson, quiz. So for example, you can have a main module. So we'll call this mod one. So we've got mod one. And then you could add a sub-module within a module. So you just put sub here. And then that would create like a sub-module within a master module. So you would have like a video and then a load of subfolders within there. A lot of flexibility with how you can lay out the content within the course that you literally don't get on any of the other online course hosting websites. Once you've then completed the layout of your course, you can then go ahead and obviously add the content. So you would just literally go over to said video and you would just click add content. Then you can choose your lesson and then you can you know, just put this video one. And then from there, you can add the video into here. So you would click edit lesson change any details, add the download folders, upload any footage. You know, it's going to be a video, pick video file here, superb stuff. Once all of that is complete and you're starting to get ready to actually launch the product, you now probably want to spend a little bit of time customizing the course player. So up on this top bar here, you've got additional options and settings for your Kajabi course. We're going to go over to the customize tab. And here, my favorite feature of Kajabi is the ability to customize the course player for each course individually. So I'm gonna show you what I mean right here. By default, every single course will have this standard course player. 
that is just, you know, like it's the premier course player thing. It's just standard layout. You've got your thumbnail, how many lessons you've completed. All of your modules are laid out here. And you can go ahead and customize a few colors, change a little bit of text here and there. All cool stuff. Now, every single course on Kajabi will use this by default, just the standard premier template. But what you can actually do is on each of your courses, you can install custom templates. So each of them look completely different. So if you have like a a $4,000 course and that's a super premium product and you want like a members area and a gamification where they've got tracking badges and all this type of stuff, you could do that. And then for your super cheap course that might be like 50 quid, $50, $60, and you don't really necessarily care about all that fancy stuff, you could just literally slap bang it with a dead basic template and all it is is just a mini course where they watch some videos and that's it, none of the extra perks. So you could obviously use that Premiere template or something like Momentum uh, as the standard one. Or you could go crazy with some of these gamification ones. So this, this here, we would go ahead and we would just install this template, go down, we would select it, go to you literally select it with your mouse, which one you want, then go to install template. This is then going to download whatever template like. You can also upload your own templates, maybe get some dude on Fiverr to make one for you or whatever you want. Then inside of the install template subfolder here, you'll just click this little arrow. You'll have your own template installed. You would just click activate. It'll activate this as your current template. It will replace this, the old one. It won't delete the old one. The old one will just go into this folder here. So you could recall it if you did customize it and you preferred that one. Then you go ahead and click customize. And then from here, you can just go to town. You can customize this course player. This is a cool one that's got all these badges. So when people complete courses, buy things within the course, like maybe some extra modules or something, they can... Um, unlock badges here like a nice little bit of gamification now from here we could customize this course player so we could go to settings and we could change the color scheme of it for example so maybe make this orange make this color black and then we would just click save in the top right corner to see those come into play got those there that looks cool maybe make this a gray color on the sidebar and then when it goes to gray or change the text automatically to white it's fantastic stuff and you can really tailor it for how you require it to be for your students now that would be it you could literally from this point go ahead and publish this course launch it and start selling it however there are some further additional settings and new features that you should be aware of so recently kajabi added the ability to have completion certificates this was a huge negative you could say a lot of people complain oh you can't do a certificate personally i don't see the point in a certificate like what does it mean if somebody's watched some online course from some random YouTuber or whatever, that they get a little certificate and go, oh, I, I did a course on Photoshop. It means nothing, but some people like them and like that as a feature within their classes. So now you can go ahead and add certificates. Maybe work great if you're maybe doing some form of an academy, but you're just some guy selling online courses. I don't really see the point in it. So you can go ahead and enable your certificates and obviously upload the dimension of said certificate and the different details here. And then when the student completes your class or all of the tasks within the class and does all of the quizzes, they could print that out and put it on the wall or do whatever they want with it. Show it to the dad, the mom, the, the kids. I don't know. So that's a cool feature that was highly requested and, and a big complaint, but it's now there so everyone can calm down. However, the more important features is actually this offer and customers area. So inside of the offers tab, you'll have your single offer that you just created. You no, know, we just created that course and we said we're going to sell this for $197. You can then actually make additional offers from this point, which enables the ability for upsells and cross sells when you have people check out at your basket. So for example, let's go ahead and add a new offer. And we're gonna do this as a bundle. This is like a bundle offer here. Inside of here, we could select multiple different products. So YouTube Roadmap to Success and some online coaching with Ben Rollins. This is everything that they get within this bundle. And we'll click continue. Now from here, we can create a custom offer that dictates this price. So let's say you know, the main course, some coaching, whatever, and a bit of a discount, they can get this course for $4,987, uh, whatever. We'll just throw that number in there. Then from here, you go ahead, select your payment provider, and click save and finish. This now has allowed us from one product to create multiple bundles or multiple different offers, even just the same course, just at a discounted price. So if you buy it with this, you save 50% off of this course. However you want to structure it, you can make uh, an unlimited amount of offers basically per class. It saves you uploading the class multiple times and wasting your products because you're limited on the amount of products you have within Kajabi. So you don't want to be doing that. Then from here, you can then dictate what special features are available within this offer, which is our bundle. So this is what's included. What uh, uh, access areas do they get on dates and times? 
ways it is available at. You can do custom emails. So if somebody purchases this particular offer, you can say, hey, thank you so much for spending $5,000 on this offer. We're gonna do this, this, and this, and this, versus the person that purchases the $50 offer where you just say, thanks, here's your link to your course. So you can tailor the experience further beyond anything that you can do on the other online course hosting websites. This is where Kajabi is super powerful because it integrates the email marketing with the master website, with the landing pages, with obviously the place where the people buy and watch the courses. It's all integrated so seamlessly, so it takes no time at all to create these custom thank you emails and, and send people on different destinations. Don't forget to check out that extended 30 day free trial link down below in the video description. That's 16 extra days that you get completely for free, literally for just clicking that link. But if you're still not completely sold on Kajabi and you want to see how it compares to something such as Teachable, you should check out this video next.